Well, you're you're about my age, so I bet you know this book. Oh yes, definitely. The Cat in the Hat. Definitely know that. And how this works is, you can do. So it's going to read the book, but it's it's going to show the letters as it reads it. So he sat in the house all that cold, cold, wet day. See how it's lighting up the words. Well, that might be good. That that could be very useful. Yeah. And and then after you maybe have them read it, then you would um. I sat there child with Sally. Yeah. We sat there yeah, there's different ways and to I do said, it. How I and then you wish can we tap, had something to do. Like when you tap the picture. Play. That's excellent. Play. Yeah. Because you're using your fingers. And it's, 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 tap, try tapping the kid. Sat. Oh, if you tap his head. Me. And then this one. Well, you see, that's going to actually... Sally. That's going to confuse them. You uh -huh. see, because things like, oh, you type ball. Yeah. Ball. Play. Oh, guess the play verb. over the. Well, you see, that's confusing. Yeah, yeah. You see, that is confusing. I actually don't like the way it's set up. It'd be better, you see, if they it'd had be better off. Well, it'd be better than if I tap on the ball, the so tennis racket, the and then we I would use. At all. I would use another uh, thing to teach the the what I call the position words. Oh. Up, down. Yeah. I'd rather start out just teaching now, so I'm gonna get confused by that. I see. Did I tap the person? Yeah. That's interesting. So if you were going to be doing a version of this, that would I would be start out with one where it might be the Dr. Seuss book, but when I tap on a bike, it says bicycle mm -hmm. or bike. Yeah. I tap on a tennis racket, it says tennis racket. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd start. I'd start with the nouns first. Mm -hmm. Then you got to go to position words. Now I could do things where. Um, what would a position word be? In, on, oh, okay. over, under, beside. Right. Yeah. Okay, I can. Um, I can uh, lie down on the bed, uh -huh. I can, the plane goes down and lands, the dog lies down and sleeps, yeah, yeah. I walk down the stairs, I walk down the hill, mm -hmm. those are position That words. could be a whole other group. See, but the problem words. with this is it's going to be very confusing. Because it mixes them all It's mixing together. them up, and they are not going to get them. Yeah, I would yeah. not recommend that program. Interesting. Where they, they, um, the Kindles, that's something I'm really recommending in this speech thing. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be fabulous for the people that are auditory learners. Yeah, for exactly. me, I would have hated it. I'd rather just read it. Well, how does because in reading some of your book, uh, you think in pictures, and other people think in words, and other people think in. And atoms. some people are visual learners, and they learn better through their eyes. Other people are auditory learners. Like I learn better by reading things. In do you fact, translate to pictures as you're reading. Yes, I do. And then, as I, if I, um, you know, in a lecture, I got to take really good notes. Mm. Boy, if I don't take really good notes, I don't remember very much. Yeah. I'll remember a few things that are on the slides. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and then my dyslexic student, she was an auditory learner. Mm -hmm. And she 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 had a real bad problem with the print jiggling. And and different people, some are auditory learners, some are visual learners. Mm -hmm. And and for certain uh, people that have this visual processing problem. You know, I, I've talked to three or four people, they love their Kindle. They said it's the only thing they can read on. Otherwise, they just get too much eye strain and it's just horrible. Yeah. And and then I've been hearing very good things about the iPad, especially with uh, kids that are nonverbal, where they're typing on that virtual keyboard yeah. and the words are right there close to it, and le they're learning to type on that one, other things they couldn't learn to type. Now, you told me that uh, you're still reading on paper because you're old fashioned, or what? what's the. Well, it's just. Uh, uh, just Maybe, <laughs> and uh, I buy like but tons of magazines you, and newspapers and drag them all on the plane. But you're a real techie. I would think that you would have been one of the first people to. Adopt I'm one the of the tech. first people to uh, to uh, tell other people all about it. I see. <laughs> like I had my cattle handling stuff out on DVD before most other people had their stuff out on DVD. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've loved it because it's so much fun to see how they improve it. Like, this is the first one, you know, and this was, it's like Soviet design. Oh, it's yeah. just really clunky and the back falls off and all this. But that's five years ago, and this was $399. Well, I think it's really good, these things. See, I do a lot of talks out there where there's low in, real, really low income people where even $79 is hard for them. Right. So the first thing I'm, I talk about is the colored paper and trying on glasses at the local Walmart mm -hmm. uh, because anybody can do that. Yeah. And then I said, well, there's some people that are really doing well with a Kindle. And before you buy one, I'd recommend that you just try one. Yeah. Go in the store and try it. You can try it for 30 days and then send it back. Yeah. And and uh, 
because with some people that's really good. And yeah. I think this uh, text talk thing, yeah. that's going to be really, really valuable for a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. The I, things you've shown me today, that's the thing that's I the get really most excited out. about yeah. in terms of something that I think can really help a lot of people. Yeah. Well, good. Anything else strike you as we've played with them? Uh, the yeah, they're all leading? about the same in terms of how, what the screen looks yeah, like. The Show screen. me the different fonts you've got. Okay, so Because here. some people, some fonts are easier to read. Oh, yeah, so you can, uh, oh, no, I'm sorry, you got to close this. So you tap up here to pull up a menu, and then this is the font stuff. So you can do the size. You can do a condensed, so that it's getting tighter together. Yeah, some people are going to hate that. Sans serif, so there's, you know, that's just a cleaner font. There's only... But there's some people like the other one better. I like the other one. I think most people want, like the... Um, Let's get the curly They like the curly one. Yeah. That's what most, and then... And then quite a few people I've talked to, they've enlarged the font quite a bit. Yeah, you can go all the way up to that. I well, and I don't want to do it that big. That's that like that would be if you're macular degeneration yeah, right. or something. Uh, and uh, and then you go all the way down to that size. That's well, really that's small. Too small. That's too small for me. I can't. Oh, big. And it's it's. Uh, yeah, that's. I wonder too. One thing I was thinking of for autism is that. This is very visual, you know, compared to a book. You can feel a book, you can even smell a book. It, it, it has all of these uh, other senses that it activates. So you have somebody that's really got a learning problem, and they're not going to care about that kind of stuff. Okay. They're going to care about, can I learn it? Uh-huh. And, and How to thing, operate it? Well, just, no, no. Can they learn the, the stuff, the, the things you're reading, the content? Oh, I see. They're interested in the content. Yeah. Most of the people that have got a really, really bad disability are not interested in playing with technology. They're interested in getting the, their college degree. Right. And if, yeah, this size font right there, that, I think a lot of people that have a little bit of a vision problem will like that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, uh, because I've talked to some people that until they got the Kindle, they just didn't do any reading. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it has to do, it has nothing to do with whether they like the device better or not. It strictly gets down to they can see better, less eye strain, and it doesn't jiggle as much. Do you think there's an advantage? Like if you look at this page, there's probably 40 words on that page. That's going to depend a lot upon the person. I just don't experiment with it. But yeah. even with, like a print page is probably going to have 150 words, so there's more peripheral. Well, peripheral. some people, you see, different people have different kinds of problems. Yeah. There are some people that in order for them to read, they've got to make a slit in a piece of cardboard oh. and read like two sentences at a time. Yeah, and they can do that on a paper book as well. Well, that's is, right, yeah. and they do it with a piece of cardboard. Right. And, and so you have, different, you have different kinds of problems. Yeah. And... And most of the people that I've talked to that say that they're in love with their Kindle, they're not in love with their Kindle because they think it's cool. No. They're in love with it because now they can read. Well. And they can read without it just being horrible. The thing I love, too, is uh, how easy it is to buy a book. Is it, right? Since I'm, I'm running 3G here, I'm not on your Wi-Fi here at the university. So if I shop on the Kindle store, uh, it's going to pull, connect me to the store. And then I tap here. And and type I can in you search. I can look for another one of your books. And, and, and this keyboard the keyboard's a little difficult to hit the letters right, but uh, okay, so now these, these are all your books. Animals, books. Make humans, now this one I've got a Yorkie that's a problem, behavior dogs. So What's the problem this, with a Yorkie? When I come to bed she barks at me. When my wife's in bed and I come to bed, she Barks and barks and barks and runs around in the bed. Jealousy thing. <laughs> can she? She can't be jealous. You might want to read "Animals Make a Human." Right. Okay, I'm going to buy that right here. Oh wait a minute, An is that the same? Well, that's, no, that's not the same book. It's this book. Oh, okay. I want this one then. That's All right, right. So I go back. All right. So I'm going to go to "Animals Make Us Human." So I touch that, and then the other nice thing is, you. It's going to let me take a. Uh, sample of the book. So if I wanted to just try a sample, okay. but I'm going to buy it. I'm gonna, I hope you get a good royalty on this. So now it's buying it. And it's pulling it down yep. from Amazon. And uh, it'll, down, it'll uh, be on my home screen. So now I press the home button. And see now it's downloading 14%. It takes a little while to download. Yeah, although text is pretty fast. It's that book's all text. There's no pictures in it? No, not in that book. Yeah. When did you write that one? That was two years ago. Yeah. 
But that's so convenient, you know. You can be about to get on a plane, you just see a book in the yeah, and a lot of it. people now a lot of people really like that and yeah. and uh, you know the thing I found the thing about it is there's two kinds of books. There's books that I just want to read and there's books that I really want to keep for a right. long time. And the thing that concerns me about a book yeah. I want to keep for a long time is this format going to be here ten years from now. I know, I know. And and so it's all up in the cloud. I I'm looking at the um, the bestseller list on ebooks versus um, physical books. There's a lot of things like romance novels. Mm -hmm. I mean, things you you, yeah, you read that. I mean, who wants, who wants to keep that? Yeah. And then there's other books I get about animals and things that I I want to keep. Yeah. I have books that I bought in the '70s that I'm really glad exactly. I still have. And then I have a lot of other books I got rid of. But and I can read your book. It's on there. Okay. Why well, do I see now? It depends on whether your publisher has made the uh, spe the speech to text. Well, let's see if it's got the let's speech to text. Let's there. see if it works. Let's see. Yep, turn on text to speech. And you can also set it to be a male voice. One. What do animals need? Uh, I think the male I think the woman's voice is easier. I find listen. that on the GPS units I can hear the ladies better than yeah, the men usually. That's, that's Most people oh, tend to like the need to have a good voices. life. Yeah. I don't mean a good life physically. We know a lot about what kind Wait, of let, food, let it let it play enough just okay. water, exercise, and veterinary care animals need to grow well and be healthy. I mean a good mental life. What does an animal need to be happy? That's very clear. The animal yeah. welfare movement has been thing. Yeah. But this is something that, oh, it's going to grow blind people. Too. Oh, yeah. Oh, And man. they have to wait. Older people that have, mm -hmm. you know, gut macular degeneration. Yep. Do they have newspapers on this speak to talk to? Uh, like New York Times, Wall Street Journal? So. I'm not sure. I think it's books. I have, uh, you know, you can get No, but this is some, what about textbooks for, like, for colleges? They're getting more and more. I think it's this. You know, slower adoption. In that. Oh, I think about my dyslexic student. She, if she mm. had this. She would have just loved yeah. it. Oh, she! Everything that she learned was was auditory. Where for me, I'd rather read things. Yeah, yeah, me too. I also, I'm also a real big book marker upper. Ah, well, and I make do... all kinds of notes in the margins, and I mark books up and I underline them. And this is good. So if I want to highlight this sentence, I go like that, and then I go like that. And then I touch on the highlight button right there. And then if I want to, uh, you don't use Twitter, do you? No, yeah, that's yeah, that's my. See, now that's changing the background color. Yeah. See, some oh, people might. Oh, that might be hard to see. For some people, that's going to be hard to see, mm -hmm. and for other people, it might be really good. Yeah. See, these things are just so variable. This is why when you go through the research literature, they'll say, "Oh, well, you know, this stuff about the Erlen lenses and the colored mm -hmm. glasses. That's all a bunch of." Hogwash because um, I, everything is so variable. Mm. But there's a but I've I know enough people that are using it where it's worked yeah, even marvelously. You know. And you and I'm talking about you, you you screening questions for whether or not you have this problem is do fluorescent lights bother you? Mm. Do you see the flicker of fluorescent lights? Do you see the print jiggle on the page? If you drive, do you hate driving at night? Mm. Do you hate escalators because you can't tell how to get on and off? And then I'm saying try printing things on different colored paper and and try different pale sunglasses. Mm. And you could also try just reading off a of Kindle with different yeah, adjustments. Yeah. You know, and you just tell them stuff to try. Exactly. And even if you only had a one in a hundred chance of working, you'd be pretty stupid not to try something that costs nothing to try. Yeah. And for some people it works. And there are some people where it works. Yeah. It must feel like just uh, freedom to find oh, something that works. Yeah, I've, I've, I can't uh, imagine what it would be like to read a page that was flickering all the time. Well, it's it terrible. A headache, right? And it, it, it varies from very, very slight to where, because I find it in my livestock handling class, one or two students out of 60 students has it. Yeah. And the way I can tell is they have to do a drawing for my class, and if, I, if they, they can't draw a circle, they'll just draw scribbles. That's how you can tell. They draw scribbles all over the place, and that's how I'm able to tell. Well, I know you've got some other appointments. Uh, I've been speaking with Temple Grandin, a professor at Colorado State University whose best-selling books include Thinking in Pictures, The Way I See It, and Animals Make Us Human. Thanks very much, Temple. Well, thank you for having me.